Good evening. This is James from F5 News, and there is a debate at Wana High School today whether students should keep their cell phones or not. I'm at the Walnut High School, where there is a controversial debate going on whether to ban cell phones from school. Some agree because cell phones have been a big distraction for the students. Others disagree because parents want to be in contact with their child in case of an emergency. This idea has been brought up by the teachers and staff of the school because they have seen a decrease in test scores with the students over the years. Cell phones just distract the students from their classwork, not being social and not paying attention. However, if they agree to ban cell phones, they say they'll see an improvement in the students' test scores, being more social and interacting more with the class. Excuse me, excuse me, do you oh. go to the school? Are you a student here? Yeah, calm first, calm down. Yes, I go to the school. Did you hear about they're trying to ban the cell phones from the school? No, I haven't heard that. You know they're trying to ban cell phones from here so that you can focus more on your studies. What do you think about that? I think that's pretty unreasonable because it's kind of stupid. I use my phone a lot. What do you use your phone for? Uh, well, during class, if the teacher wants me to research something, I would use that time to research what I need to research. And plus, I can look up definitions that I don't know. And like, what's the what's so wrong about technology? If you, you know, use it for the right thing, then it can help you. Okay. Thank you. What is your intake on whether to ban cell phones from school? Who are you? I am the interviewer from Channel 2 News, Tanya Khan. So what's your intake? Um, on cell phones? At school? Yeah, they're trying to ban cell phones from school so you can focus more on your studies. I think that might be a good idea. I mean, students are always, like, distracted in class because they're using their cell phones. They can't focus on what the teacher is saying. That actually might be a good idea. Yeah. Thank you very much. The decision for banning cell phones from schools or not will be held at the Walnut Valley Unified School District Office on April 4th at 8 o'clock p.m. Parents and students are welcome to attend. Back to you. Thanks, Tanya. Oh, wait, there looks like there's something else going on at Walnut High School. Looks like there's a protest going on. We'll go check it out. Back to you, Tanya. No, no more standardized testing. testing. No more standardized testing. No. I am nope. here at I the get... Walnut High School where there is a protest going on. What are you guys protesting for? So we're, pro we're protesting against the, um, the standardized testing like the SAT, the ACT. And I think it's unfair because not, not everyone has the same test taking skills as others. And you know, some people can be smart in one particular area, but when it comes to tests, it can be totally different from others. That's what I believe. That's great, great. Anything else you want to say? No more standardized testing. Great, great. Well, there you have it, folks. Kids speaking out. Lo no, standardized testing! Thanks, Tanya. Another controversial story is up next regarding the Oscars. Does the hashtag Oscar So White sound familiar to you? Maybe it's because the controversy over a lack of diversity broke out after two weeks where all 20 acting nominees were white. Now, we have Melissa in Hollywood to interview Emma Watson on her thoughts about the year's nominations. Thank you. Now, what's your stance on the hashtag Oscar So White? Uh, I feel like there's a lack of representation in the industry. I heard uh, Spike Lee, Will, and Jada Smith were boycotting the Oscars, and I completely understand. Speaking of Spike Lee, he mentioned in an interview last week that the Oscars were like the Rocky Mountains, always white on top. What do you think about this? Uh, I think it's a tough pill to swallow to admit that racism still exists in the present. And now, looking back on the Academy Awards, in the last 25 years, have you seen any change? Uh, change? Oh, yes, of course, there's been change. Morgan Freeman finally got his long overdue Oscar in 2005, but has there been enough change? I don't think so. You know, the Academy is a representation of the industry, and the industry is a representation of America. It reflects the lack of equal representation and racism as a whole. Wow, those are some very powerful words, Emma. Thank you for joining me today. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Melissa. Now we have Keilani interviewing Dr. Bond about the economy. Hi, I'm Keilani, and this is... Dr. Bond, and I'm an economist. And he's going to give us tips on how to improve the economy. So, Dr. Bond, um, what is the problem? The problem is that um, education should be the main focus in our society. Oh, um, why is that a problem? This is a problem because um, 
education is um, the foundation for the future. It's where um, you can create more jobs, more innovations, and um, you can help change the world. You can improve the economy by um, yeah, just building businesses and um, products that haven't been innovated. Okay, so what are your changes for reform? My changes? Um, I believe that money and time should be focused more into education instead of um, a lot of money spent into the military because um, we do have a lot of protection and our protection is uh, well off but education should be our main focus. Okay, and why, why should your ideas be considered? My ideas should be considered, like what I said earlier, um, uh, education is the foundation for the future. That is what I believe. Okay. The government should focus more on education by funding more money into schools and programs or spending more time to help students in need. Education is important because they are the foundation of the future and what this means is that the students as for right now will be the ones to make the economy prosper in the future. Smarter students will be able to create new ideas and innovations and this can be a gateway to create more businesses, jobs, and other ideas that can help our economy's GDP. As you can see, if we are able to increase our scores by a certain percentage, then we are able to increase our GDP tremendously by 2050. And like always, thank you guys for tuning in from your favorite evening news show. I'm James Bond, and peace out! Good evening, this is James from Channel 5. Oh, no, 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 I wasn't ready. Thanks, Tanya. Oh, oh wait. There's... Do you think that there's been change within the last 25 years? Uh, change? Yes, of course there's been change. Uh, Morgan Freeman finally got his long overdue Oscar in 2005, but there has. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>